everyone welcome to the video as you can see from the title today i'm going to do a toddler boy clothing haul i don't know what it is about clothing haul videos but i really enjoy watching these on some other channels so i thought that i would just do one myself because i've just kind of finished shopping i think for jed's winter clothing so for those of you who are new to the channel, my name's Alex, welcome. I'm a mum of a nearly 15 month old son, Jed. Um, so if you are new, please hit subscribe, follow me on Instagram, all of the things. I'm also going to link for you below some of the channels that I like watching uh, for the aforementioned clothing hauls. You might be interested in that below. But without further ado, let's jump into the video. Okay, so I live in Sydney and it's we're in autumn now, we're just heading towards winter. So that's the kind of vibe we're doing. I'm just going to start with some uh, casual at home clothes. So for at home, I have a couple of pairs of tracky pants. These ones are the 12 to 18 month ones from Target, which fit Jed well at the moment. Now he's actually 85th percentile for weight and these are a good fit for him the 12 to 18 month ones from big w are actually quite big on him so i've got a couple of pairs of trackies just for home wear um for home wear as well i really have been finding the long sleeve tops are really handy to have especially the kind of loose-ish ones so they're not too clingy and binding they can be they're sort of just that in between comfy clothing so just to give you an idea I'm not heaps into like cutesy clothing I have a little bit of it um, but mainly the vibe is kind of miniature man if you get what I mean but this is definitely not miniature man I don't want to see my husband wearing stuff like this but this is a cute little top from Big W and this one is another long sleeve one from Kmart. These are, I think, the big W ones are really cheap, about $5 each. The Kmart ones are slightly more expensive. Another long sleeve one is this one, which is from Country Road, which was a gift. I'm not a routine Country Road shopper. I also picked up a couple of long sleeve waffle tops which I thought would be good for sort of at home when it does get a little bit cool, uh, cooler. These waffle tops are sort of thermal, so they could be good for either at home for layering or even going out for layering. So I have that in blue and gray, and they're from Kmart. So the other clothing item, which I loved last year for Jed and still love now are leggings. I don't know how old it is, like what the age for acceptable legging wearing is for boys, but while ever they're still available, he's gonna keep rocking them because I find them really useful. They're not as warm and sort of daggy homewear as trackies, but they're, they're really easy to put on. They're comfy, I think. So I have quite a few of these. Light gray ones, we've got a dark gray. They're from Target. I really like the sizing of the Target ones. And these were a gift, but these Bonds have some really cool sort of snazzy designs. So this is, this is from Bonds and they work well with anything like gray, plain gray or white on top. So that would, that would work well with that top. So we've also got a ton of t-shirts. Last year when Jed was younger, sort of less than a year old, I didn't have a lot of t-shirts. It was mainly body suits with things on top of it or onesies and that type of thing. Uh, we're into the t-shirts now, so he'll continue wearing these through winter just with warm tops and things. Big W often has really cute little designs for boys, so this is a nice little green one. I don't know what it says, Wild Young Free. And another one I like, this one, Good Vibes Only. This t-shirt is from Industry Kid and it probably, honestly this probably cost about $30 and these these ones cost about five. Um, 
so that's a kind of cute little design but honestly they grow they go through their clothes so fast that I just I really like the challenge of finding the the cool designs of the less expensive brands it just makes sense um so that's kind of the vibe we have going for just home type of wear and now I'm going to show you a few other things for like warm tops so this is a hoodie that I absolutely love he looks so cute in this he's already worn it once uh, this is from Big W and also from where did this come from brilliant basics I'm not sure where this came from it could have been Target actually so just a grey hoodie um, hoodies zip or hoodies are awesome they're so easy to dress and undress them out of and it's good if it's you know like in between weather you can have it open if it's sort of not too cold and whatnot um, I absolutely love flannel I just think they look so cute in it so we have two we've got this blue one from Kmart and this red one with a grey hoodie which is also from Kmart both in size one I got him this sort of dressy collared shirt which I think that they just look so it's just so cute when like you're going out to lunch or some special occasion and they have a little college shirt so we just have one of those because they don't wear them very often but that one was from Big W uh, from Kmart I have this jacket this sort of warmer weather sorry colder weather jacket which is lined with just cotton I think and it's kind of this waterproof rain material Lindsay actually has a jacket like that, so it might be a bit cute if they're dressed together. This is a gorgeous little knit. That is from Country Road, a bit of a special purchase, um, which honestly I had a credit for Country Road, so that's why we have that one, and it's, it's really cute. And then we just have another uh, zip up, like old man grey cardi, which is from Big W. And then for some pants that aren't leggings or tracky, so maybe something a bit a bit more special, is just one pair of jeans. I went with a black one and it's got that sort of low cool do thing happening there. Um, so I'm not gonna get any more than that. I think that's more than enough for what you'll need. So I'm just gonna show you some things that I got for sleepwear. We absolutely love uh, Bond zippies, so we have a few of these zippies kicking around. They're just so absolutely easy to get them in and out of. Um, they don't have the mittens for the old kids. Older kids is one. Um, but they still have the foot things, which are really useful in winter. So I've got a, a few of those. Um, for layering in winter, I would like to have a couple of pairs of flannelette PJs. So, um, like if it gets really cold at night because he doesn't have a doona or like a bedspread on or anything yet he might have a wonder suit with his sleeping bag but he might even have a flannel at pj over the top of the wonder suit if when it gets really crisp so just a couple of pairs of flannel at pjs and for layering we also just have plain singlets but to be honest, for layering, I prefer the ones that snap underneath because there's less chance of them getting all bunchy. Hello, so my battery died and I can't remember where I was up to, but I think I just finished or I might have been talking about PJs. Anyway, um, let's just talk footwear for a second. Um, Jed has literally just started walking yesterday, so I he hasn't been wearing shoes. Last year he had some pre-walkers for warmth when we were going out. But in terms of actual shoes, I don't have many ready for him to wear. I did buy this pair last year in readiness for this year. And they're kind of the cute high top design. They're from Kmart. And again, I just can't really bring myself to spending a ton 
ton of money on shoes, so it depends. If I saw something that I really loved, I might pay a little extra. But um, I love these ones with the white, the tongue that pulls right down. I find that some shoes um, that don't have this feature are really hard to get Jed's foot into. He has quite a, I guess, high foot, if that makes sense. So tip, if you're buying shoes for your baby, always try them on because you might not be able to get their foot into it. Uh, I, now that he's walking, I'm gonna have to get a shoe that's suitable for walking. So yeah, I think that is really the end of my clothing haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as I said, if you're not already, please hit subscribe. Please leave me a comment. Let me know who you are. Let me know if you like this video. And I will talk to you guys soon. Always so awkward ending a video. I just sit here and like wait for an appropriate time to turn the camera off. True story. But I'm really gonna go now. Okay, bye. <laughs> and guys, just as a little um, add-on clip, I'm gonna show you Jed's drawers and how they're organized. So, just in his room here. Top drawer, we've got PJs. Uh, changing stuff. Bottom drawer. We've got bodysuits, singlets, short sleeve bodysuits, leggings and shorts, long sleeve tops, shorts, t-shirts and trackies. And then bottom jaw, we've just got hats, swim stuff and extra baby care stuff. So the way that I manage these drawers is when he outgrows stuff, I take it out or as the seasons change, like soon I'll take the shorts out when it gets too cold for those. And then I take them into, I take them into the spare room, excuse this mess. And I have a little pile back here of stuff that is either going to go into tubs for baby number number two or is going to be donated and then in this box here I have some things which are too big for him at the moment so there might be special stuff that I see that's for a two-year-old that I just want to put aside or things that just are a little bit big at the moment and then up here I have his hanging stuff that I showed you before because we don't have a hanging space in his room. So that concludes our little wardrobe haul. Ready to get out now, Daddy? Got all your mates here. Hello, Nelly. Hello, Shelly. Hello, Ellie. <laughs> oh, good one, mate. <laughs> Say bye. Good boy. <laughs>